everyone. Um, common question we're getting right now is we have Japanese beetles and we have rose beetles, we have rose shaper. So we're going to talk about a few items that work great, or at least ones I recommend. Um, I do have a few rose shapers. Hopefully we can find them and a rose beetle, but we have not seen any Japanese beetles. Thank goodness. So in case for those that don't know, because we don't have any, thank the Lord, these are Japanese beetles right here. And if you can tell, um, they have the green metallic head, basically brown body, but how you can tell if you have Japanese beetles are these white dots right along the side of the body. That's what you can tell. Now, do they do damage? No, what they do is they chew on all the leaves, they'll chew on your flowers, but they don't hurt the plant, they just make it look terrible. A couple products that we like to use is we've got our eight, which is a garden dust. So a lot of times they will hit vegetables and just go ahead and put some right on there. We've got our Japanese beetle killer, which you can go right ahead and spray right onto the plant and flowers. And you usually want to do this early in the morning, just so you're not stressing out the plant. We've got our Japanese beetle bags. And I know for those that are big gardeners, Patty, you're bringing the beetles into the garden. True, but if you have them on the outskirts of your property, these bags will fill up with beetles, which I think that's like one more beetle gone from the world. And basically what it is, is there's a lure in here and that will attract them. They fall into here and they can't get back out. So that's another way of doing it. On my way in this morning, I think I saw six or seven homes that had these right along the roadside. So, and it's kind of fun. I'll watch every day to see how full they get. And then we also have the eight, um, which is in a pump. So if you have an area that's real high, you'll definitely be able to use the sprayer to get that. Some other products you can use too would be the malathion and then the bond neem for that as well. Roses, a lot of things are eating roses right now. And we have, I don't know if you guys can see, we actually found one. So these are rose beetles in here. If I can pop him out a little bit, can you see that? Um, so basically it looks like a Japanese beetle, but it doesn't have the white legs. Here's a rose shaver that just fell off. Let me see if I can put them in my hand. So these, <laughs> all right, these are rose shapers, everyone. Grossness. So, and what they do is they eat the flower petals. So they can do damage like this right here, okay? Now, do they hurt the plant? No, they are just feeding on all of the rose petals. Again, what can you use on them? You can use um, the bond neem, you can use the eight, you can dust with them. The malathion is a great one to use too. Is there anything you can do to help prevent them? I mean, you can do a grub control in spring, which will also help. You can do a grub control later in fall as well too. So just a few helpful tips, but make sure when you do dust or spray, do it early in the morning. Don't do it on a hot day like today right now because that puts stress on the leaves. And sometimes if that stays, if the spray stays on it and the sun reflects, it will burn them. So keep that in mind and let's keep those plants beautiful, guys. Bye.